I think STEM education in connection with racing gives students an avenue to apply what they learn in the classroom to real world examples. And I think any time that you can provide avenues or areas for people to do that, it enables them to become excited about what they're learning. You see schools coming by with a lot of young kids, you know, uh, probably uh, just a day uh, instead of they going to the zoo or to a park to learn about the animals and things like that, they actually go into the racetrack and learn about the, you know, a little bit of the speed and, and the track and the, and the driver. So for me, that's exactly what we need, you know, to keep going because I guarantee a lot of young kids like that in the future, maybe they don't have the, you know, as fortunate uh, scenario like myself did, you know, able to be in racing, but they can be a, a future engineer, they can be a crew chief, they can be someone that uh, plays a big part that helps, you know, uh, do our job and th then without them, we wouldn't be able to do what we love to do. It's something that not only comes across as far as racing as, as a sport, but the technology of it and, and the sport itself in terms of helping the, the younger people, and I was one, I, I was a mechanical engineer by degree. You know, for me, the technology of what, what motorsport was about was what drove me to learn. It's what drove me to try and understand what is aerodynamics, you know, what, what, are the, what does all this mean? And I could translate it into something that I thought was interesting. And there's a big difference between somebody telling you to learn something and wanting to learn something. And I think that if you get somebody excited about a certain topic, be it engineering, mathematics, you know, I think if people have the drive and initiative to learn it on their own, it's going to go a lot easier.